All right, what's up, Hot Squad? Welcome to my last Hot Banger recap of the week. And finally, I'm back with more Casper. I think it's been since Black Panther since I did a recap of Casper, if I'm correct. But it know it's been a while since I did a Casper recap, checking them out. So this is going to be his Transformers Age Extinction recap. And it's just called When Lockdown Cooked the Autobots and Treated Them Like a 9-5. Yeah, yeah, 9-5. So yeah, um, yeah, Transformers Age Extinction, not a huge fan of it. So yeah, it's nice to see, you know, Casper doing a recap of it. But you know, hey, why not? <laughs> so yeah, um, yeah, Age Extinction, I'm not a huge fan of it, you know. Um, I mean, it's just boom, 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 that Michael Bayism and, and that crap. So, yeah, it's just like, yeah, it's it was just just too much, man. It was like, okay, it's just too much. So, I'm excited to see this recap overall. So, how squad for ado, we're going to check out the last recap of the week. This is Casper's Transformers A Station recap right now. Let's get straight into it. And also, I got trailers coming after this, y'all. But I will tell y'all which trailer I got next if you've not seen my post. So, Hot Squad, Transformers A Station recap by Casper. Let's check it out. Hit it, hit it, hit it, hit it. minutes all right so we start off with lockdown popping up out of nowhere like the diddler when it's time to diddy fight straight men and my son takes off his shice d and um deals that this can turn his face into a thermal scope and then we see cemetery wind soldiers trying to hunt down a transformer and the thing is these could just be going around looking for beef they the draymond green of the transformers universe they eventually get a heat signature on ratchet and they start rushing his ass like it's a war zone lobby i mean look at them they really stacking the hell out of ratchet until all of y'all because they be on war zone stacking i'm close come close and listen to me when I say this. You're straight bitch <laughs> now, nigga. I see it in your ass. Pussy, nigga. My fault. I had to get that out, but they set up talk. Oh, by the way, did Casper had a boys recap? I think that got taken down on YouTube. It's just a bummer. I want to react to that. Purchase and blow the out of whatever he was camping in. Ratchet falls out and yep. then instantly starts shooting his ass with ARs and missiles. They did Ratchet so damn dirty. After they blew him up one last good time, he starts running away. Y'all know the Autobots be on MLK time and straight trying to keep the peace. But if Ratchet is MLK in this situation, then Cemetery Win is the KKK. Oh, hell Ratchet no. transforms and starts running. But like the 2024 Warrior season, he not getting far. Because my boy gets hit so hard with a missile, he transforms again. And he's still running away while yeah, he gets shot. Until he turns around for no reason at all. And then he gets sniped in the chest, making him fall on the ground. He tries to get up, but they blow his entire Damn. head off. Told that nigga to sit down like he been running in and out the house all day and his mom don't like her ac being wasted and then he starts trying to parlay with cemetery wind and he like yo can't y'all see i've been injured i'm an autobot and then bro proceeds to say why are you running Man, what the fuck is you what doing? What the fuck is that? I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry. So, so, so Ratchet tells them that Optimus sent a distress signal to all the Autobots to hide because they was getting chased down. And bro, like, I lost a sister in Chicago. Yeah. I'm Autobots K, little nigga. The camera yes. passed the lockdown and this nigga face is turning to a big ass sniper. Yeah. yeah. He points that shit right at yeah. him. Yeah. Right? And he the fuck out of him. But that peace treaty ended so fast. Nigga went from Martin Luther King to Malcolm X real quick. Yeah, he damn. Off in human. But this was a one sided ass whooping straight Chris Brown versus Rio. Oh, hell no. He's blowing chunks of metal off his ass. And then the camera pans again and lockdown walking him down. And he like, oh, yeah. He free eats. Hi, and then he walks over to him, stands over him, and he like, Autobots, Decepticons, what? all of y'all trash. I ain't gonna lie. Always fighting. Making a mess of the world, then I gotta come clean that shit up. Like, what? This is yes. really a nine to five to bro. Like, at least put some effort in to make me feel like I'm deserving of this ass whooping. But lockdown, like, there's only one way you survive. What did he say? Tell me where he is. <laughs> it's Optimus Prime. But my nigga Ratchet stood ten toes down. He knew if Optimus got word that he snitched, it would have been GG's for my boy. He would have tried to come back to the Autobots and been like, Optimus, how I look. Like a damn snitch. But like, yes. what he said, because he steps on Ratchet's chest, grabs bro spark, and rips that shit out. Then he yep. proceeds to dangle that shit in his face, kick him, and then just walk off. Like, nah, me personally, if I was Ratchet, I would have just snitched and went back to Optimus. Yeah. Like, nigga, I got jumped in LA <laughs> by some pussy ass niggas, and they jumped me, nigga. We fast forward and we see that Cemetery <laughs> Wayne has a location of Optimus because bro right here is literally the biggest rat. They told bro he was gonna get his prize money for the capture of Optimus and bro gonna believe him. That's like buying from one of them clothing brands on Instagram. Gang, you're not getting that shit. This. So bro walks over to Cade after being in slow motion for 30 hours and he <laughs> 30 hours. That he looking for an abandoned truck. And then he like, I ain't gonna lie, this crib nice. Too bad it's for sale. And then Cade like, thanks my nigga, but it ain't for sale. Yeah. Is that the truck you looking for? Afraid not. So he like, we received the call about this truck. That wasn't you. And then gonna stare right at Lucas. After K starts playing dumb straight flight reacts, he like, search the area. So after searching for a mad long and not being able to find Optimus, this nigga in James Savoy ear like, fuck it. 
use the girl. Huh? Then bro throw oh yeah, KLC Grammar was in this movie. Beast from X Men and Fraser. Throws her ass on a wagon, <laughs> sits on top of her, and puts his gun straight to her head. Oh. And then bro starts counting down. And then Optimus down there hearing. So we cut back and bro like shoot her. So what? Optimus busts yep. out. Chris Brown smacks the fuck out of Chris right Brown. here. And then he rolls out the bar and pulls out that mouse katoo and gold stone. Mouse he katoo. turns bro right here into KD hairline straight down. <laughs> God and damn. Made him hit the dude in his backflip on top of a car. And then Optimus took one look at Lucas and was like, oh nah. Yeah. What's the deal? Yeah, yeah. yeah. What the fuck? Oh yeah, get that nigga out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Optimus starts shooting right at bro, and that's when the camera pans and lock down third party in from the distance. Trying to send Optimus on a first class trip with OJ. But locked down <laughs> Damn. two missiles at their house and Damn. blows it up. And Optimus done dipped out on them. Bro really told them to go figure it out or something. We cut back and bro in the helicopter putting up playing clay stats. Cause bro didn't hit a single shot. And after being embarrassed, he finally gave up. And it cuts to lockdown following after Optimus and call him chase down. Cause bro instantly catches up to Optimus. While Cemetery Wind is literally chasing the humans And if I was them, I would have been mad as hell Like, Optimus, why are you following me? But Lockdown shoots Optimus in the stomach And then he starts climbing the wall And then it cuts back to the humans getting chased But we do not care yes. Lockdown tackles Optimus and then he starts running away While he's getting shot at yeah. until he jumps onto another yeah. building We cut back and Optimus blocks a punch Grabs a cable and then wraps that bitch around his neck And throws his ass over the side Got that nigga feet dangling Optimus being worried about Kate and them Jumps on two cars, blowing it up And my son Optimus really oh, a lead defender. Yeah, yeah. The Warriors need to sign, bro. Please. So fast forward, somehow Optimus in truck form and they start running away to get in. And that's when Lucas gets his foot stuck, so he trailing behind and Lockdown Ooh, decides to throw a grenade, yeah. setting off 50 charges in the surrounding area. And that's when Bro starts running just as fast as whoever this is right here. And that's when hey, Lockdown was like, You know who I am? What are you finna find out? The barbecue. <laughs> you stop, man. Yep. And after Kaden them dipped out, that wasn't even a loudest part because Lockdown jumps down and goes in the car for him and rips his engine right in front of this nigga dead body. So fast. Yep. That was absolutely brutal. I mean, my God, that was so freaking brutal. I think I did see behind the scenes that Michael Bay was sick, was like arguing with TJ Miller or some crap. I didn't think they didn't get along in this movie. So that probably killed his character off. But they, they did him freaking brutal on this one. Before we see be crashing into KSI and no not that Rihanna forehand <laughs> okay, nigga from the side man the company and that's when the auto bots pull up crashing through all the windows and then B jumps off the wall grabs a helicopter and then spawns right in front of bro office and then off of it and then he kicks his shit in and hold on Rihanna look at bro run and die that's gotta be found footage of Rockway seeing a chicken nugget laying on the ground and then crashers pull up and he in the school shooter special and oh, hell no. the house are tearing up the facility blasting everything in that bitch Optimus her ratchet was in there getting turned into a straight PC part, so he's like, oh, no, nah, you fucked up, you should have killed me. But Joshua walks up to the auto bus like, stop, that's company property. Like, bro, if you don't go on tour, that's like having a five-course meal in front of Lizzo and being like, hey, oh, don't no. eat that. Nigga, you think they gonna listen to you? <laughs> but Optimus like, nigga, they aren't your property. They was my friends. And then Hal puts that mouse couture straight to Joshua face and then Brain's little ass like, oh, yeah, your bald ass not talking so much now, ho ass nigga. So Joshua was tired of getting impressed like Russ was the other night. Had that nigga PJ Washington and gullible ass standing there like a bad nigga. <laughs> so Joshua like nigga shut up you the same size as Optimus that you <laughs> got that. like Optimus I'll turn this nigga into fried rice right now just give me the word but Optimus like nah and hits him with the king ball one hand and bro heard me say ball and started getting defensive as hell nigga was like look gang all the shit we do here is simply just the spoils of war cap don't be mad because we turned that nigga Ratchet into an iPhone. That's just technology. <laughs> and then Optimus kicks whatever this is. Got bro bent over, head down, hand on the head, cowering in the beard. And then out of nowhere, this nigga gets a boost of testosterone. Motherfuckers be unlocking their grand badge when hoes around. But bro stands up and he like, nigga, I'm like that. I own your entire species. And Optimus like, yeah, right, y'all can't survive without us. And that's when bro like, oh, y'all ain't no? We can make you now. What Dumbass you 10 cans. We don't need y'all for real. And Optimus should because he realized that any moment he can be turned into a a blackberry with a touch <laughs> and then hound in the back like out of pocket for that shit <laughs> seriously way out of pocket <laughs> seriously. what do you gain from that but optimus seriously. stand up and he like autobots we out this bitch so after the autobots leave after getting pressed by a ball nigga with tony stark glasses they go boot up galvatron which is basically the 2k generic version of megatron and what's really crazy is bro was really mad because galvatron looked like megatron like my nigga i don't know is it because you're using his head bro really had the audacity to say i wanted him to look like optimus not megatron that's the equivalent of kaisa not having a child and him being like my son definitely gonna be 6'3 and athletic like bro, be realistic but bro gonna say let's show these alien terrorists 
what an upgrade looks like. Is this nigga serious? <laughs> Seriously. Like, Galvatron and Stinger pull up on Optimus and oh, yeah, this crap. transforms oh. and then jumps on top of this random car, sending that shit flying. And then Galvatron starts putting in straight pain because bro splits a car in half and then punches this one, going it up instantly, leaving whoever in that car looking like two faces. <laughs> yeah. Joshua, like, do we even have control? And bro, like, duh, mostly. Like, mostly. This nigga, bro, was just out there trying shit. One leg off the wrong foot, bump face off the right shoulder, and bro, not even a right shoulder type of guy. Bro right here, gonna say it was just a malfunction. Cap. But guy yep. trying to shoot Total. five missiles in the air that didn't do anything but make Illinois roads even worse. Mm. They driving down the street, casually catching CTE. Mike Tyson ain't got nothing on these guys. <laughs> but the Autobots start running away like KD from the grind. And then Galvatron literally starts disobeying control panel orders and then shoots four missiles at the Autobots but misses, making this semi crash right into a truck. And they gotta be trying to get signed to the Avengers because his property <laughs> damage at an all time high. He out there putting up 2018 bronze stats. We cut back in his holes around so y'all know we gotta act up. So they jump <laughs> over this bridge and he throws him to Optimus. And my son hangs off the bridge, shoots about six missiles at Galvatron and he blows up. But Galvatron, like, oh my drink, bitch. And then Galvatron <laughs> breaks up into smaller pieces and hits B with a Fight. mean ass hero. And then look at B. But Galvatron, yeah, he's back up and bro, really Celtic Shack because I mean, this nigga ain't hitting nothing but innocent people. So by the glory of plot, while midway into getting turned into a hubcap by Galvatron, yeah. Kate and them jump out and then Optimus transforms. Optimus goes far oh, back but catches himself and hits the mm -hmm. Superman pose and that's when he shiesties up. And usually when the Autobots put on that shiesty, it's GG for their opponent. But I yeah. forgot this is Optimus. His plot armor only kick in when he either on 1 HP or out there looking like 80. Yes. He grabs him, got him hit the around town and then he puts the nigga in a nookie. We talking the Big Brother mm -hmm. special and then he pulls out his sword and then gets dropped in the face. But Galvatron hits Optimus as well. The uppercut making Damn. him do a backflip and Kate ass over there yelling like Get up! And finally decides to run and that's when Galvatron rocks Optimus right into her and then he pulls up hits his ass with a spinning back hit and now Optimus out here getting put on a T by a 22 savage ass Megatron but he grabs his sword and then Galvatron gets stabbed through the chest but Optimus ain't nothing there nigga saw a hole in his chest and was like that's a great idea let me stab him through here and then he start talking mad shit to Optimus telling bro that he wear the same fit every movie and he even told bro that Erwin a better leader than him and he grabs Optimus entire hit. I have yet to see Attack on Titan, by the way. I never got a chance to see Attack on Titan. Yes, I know. And throws his ass out of frame. Eventually, Optimus starts cooking, bro. And just like the WWE, when the niggas start winning, that's when it's time to start joking. Because we see a bullet come out of nowhere and snipe Optimus through the chest. Yeah. Like, boy, hitting that when your mom hit that one spot in the back you can't reach. And then Kate and them look down and it's locked down, pulling up on Optimus. Yeah. And then we see in control panel, they like, who the fuck is that? And bro was like, that's my asset. <laughs> Pull Gavatron back. And bro didn't even hesitate. He was like, do that shit. And Lockdown must be trying to get recruited into phase because he booms Optimus again, making him flop onto his car. And this girl really gonna get her dumb ass. Seriously, oh my god. No running away. Uh. And Optimus over there stuck. Nigga look like one of his auto hoes had him out there hitting the Jordan logo. But Lockdown walks over to him and he like, honestly, I feel sorry for you, Prime. You really thought you could fuck with me. <laughs> this is just my nine to five game. Nigga, <laughs> nine to five. Who sent you? Nigga, you know. But at the end of the day, it don't even matter. You going up in my trophy case. And don't forget, Prime, I'm like that. And then their ship sends down the big ass net and they become successful in capturing Prime and Tessa. So fast forward a little bit and Lockdown has Prime on a nice terminal saying he like join your fellow rebels, fugitive scum. Like, yo, this nigga talking like he Frieza or something. Niggas love giving you post game interviews after they already done capture you. Like, bro, we get it. But he finishes off by saying he's already collected all the nights and then throws Optimus in the cell. And Optimus, like, I'm slave to no. One. And then he grabs Optimus' mouth and he like, nigga, shut up. You a puppet. The creators had built you to do what you were told. And Damn. I go really sitting there again and muzzled. This shit is hurting my heart. But Lockdown was like, so be a puppet and do what you were built for. Nothing. And then threw his face mad disrespectful. So fast forward, Optimus and Tessa got free. Blah, blah, blah. Or would y'all like me to commentate that? Like, bro, be for real. I ain't that entertaining. But we skipped to K and them absolutely tearing this poor family's house apart. They in there beating the fuck out of each other. Straight Bobby and Whitney. <laughs> A table and I ain't gonna lie, getting your ass whooped by a civilian is crazy. Yes. Nigga, ain't you in a CIA? But bro pulls out his knife and K grabs a football, beams his ass in the face, and then tackles his ass out the window, sending that yep. nigga free falling like 40 feet. The leader of cemetery went seen that his homeboy just got turned into a pack, and he was like, oh nah, and instantly called up lockdown to come fade these niggas. Yeah. So we cut to prime running towards something, and that's when lockdown comes from the ship yelling, Prime. 
Man. Man. Shoot at missiles, and I ain't gonna lie, his entrances be top tier. The Undertaker might have him some competition, but he drops down, spins off, and hits Optimus Shield, and then grabs his ass with the hook, and then swings his ass into a pillar, making him eat a rock sandwich. And then they start going back and forth like all of these rappers dissing each other. There's no reason Chris Brown should be cooking you. Yes. Hey, Quavo, I will go tell you to fight, bro, but this nigga put you at the beginning of his song when you was begging him to spare you. That's nasty work, I ain't gonna lie. Wouldn't let that shit happen to me, though. You know, it's over there hiding. Optimus hits lockdown with a Superman punch and then knees his head. Lockdown box the punch and backhands him in the back of the head. Elbows him and then flips around his head. Twists his arm and then kicks the nigga into a wall. And that's when this nigga hero starts shooting at Kate, but bro missing every bullet. He walks up yeah. to him talking straight bullshit. Bro talking about politics, the country and shit. Nigga was sending me fast asleep. I ain't gonna lie. Felt like I was out there watching a Shakira Stevenson fight straight slumber fest. But Optimus starts cooking lockdown and then he turns into attention to Kate. So while bro still yapping, Optimus pulls up and booms his head, getting the Ichigo way. And then yep. Kate was like, now you a donut. It cuts back and lockdown jumps on Optimus, comes down and uppercuts his ass, sending him straight into a wall. He treats Optimus like a soccer ball because he kicks him in the mouth, takes Optimus on the and stabs him through the chest with it. And all the way to my boy's party, and then Optimus reaches out, he smacks his hand, and then he like, you really saved that human? Instead of saving yourself, you really are a lost cause. While his hand is literally on Optimus' head. Man, this shit really got me sick to my stomach. Who wrote this? So he comes out of nowhere shooting. By the way, the writer of this wrote Top Gun Maverick. Yes, he wrote Top Gun Maverick. Eric Kruger's name, but he also wrote The Last Night. He wrote, no, actually he wrote Revenge of the Fallen, Dark to the Moon, and that new Brad Pitt movie coming out, Formula One, I guess it's called. I have my reaction for that in a few moments. Well, actually not after this, but like, you know, two vids away. But yeah, freaking Eric Kruger um, wrote this movie. His gun, and that's what I'm talking about. Somebody defend my goat, and then Optimus kicks locked down in the leg, so he booms this random nigga. Like, bro, am I tweaking or where did this nigga come from? But K shoots off his arm, and then B pulls up, and I know y'all think, oh yeah, B finna come handle this nigga. Did y'all see the thumbnail? B transforms and weaves the side, and then kicks a truck into lockdown, making him hit the will you marry me. B says no, so lockdown goes for a right, and then misses, and B hits him with the Black Widow special and kicks him in the back of the head, sending him facing the other way, like if an Instagram thought seen a free BB. <laughs> While B cooking lockdown, Kate over there third party, and B sends him fly with one shot. Lockdown sees that a fucking human is cooking him, and he can't What's stand that? for that, so he locks in straight game six Brown and looks at my nigga like, Your time has come. There's no way out of this one. He shoots him in the shoulder, got him looking up at the sky, and then he does a spinning oh, kick, gets caught, and then lockdown starts spinning him around, talking shit to Optimus. Like, imagine you on the bench and the nigga in the game talking shit to you. I would have been like, I'm like, what do you say fuck me for? <laughs> and then B on his head and then turns his attention to Kate. And then Kate and them start helping Optimus get free. And lockdown catches her straight, because midway they pull his legs from under him and start turning him into AD. And Bro falls in front of Kate and instantly tries to take his head off, but misses it, then gets shot in the face. And then they start Jumping my nigga, but lockdown tunnel vision. He's still locked in on Cade. Like, bro, literally is getting pieced up by the human. Yeah, seriously. Over Cade, about to finish the job. Optimus gets free, grabs his sword, and dunks that shit straight through his spark, making him throw up cooling or whatever. All over Cade, and then he slices his ass in half. And we all know That's Optimus nasty. always gotta say some cold ass line at the end of the movie. So yep. go ahead, bro, get it out. Honor. To the end. And I ain't gonna lie, hmm. lockdown wasn't even the wildest part of this movie. The wildest shit is this nigga giving Tess a boyfriend CTE with this neck grab. <laughs> his daughter set somebody else up. She was like, we don't have a home anymore, dad. That crazy nigga blew it up. And then bro <laughs> like, I think I could be able to help you with that. And then he gives this nigga CTE too. Like, goddamn, relax. But with that being said, this is all I got. And I'll see y'all next week. And also follow the Twitch for me in the second channel in the description. I'm gonna be cooking up on there next month, probably. But with all that being said, um, bye. All right, W recap Casper, W recap. Oh man, but yeah, um, like I mentioned before, the writer of the movie did Top Gun Maverick, Aaron Kruger. Yes, he actually did wrote that, and you know he's an okay writer. He did The Ring, by the way, the remake with Naomi Watts. He wrote that. Now, I think that's pretty much what I can think of. But yeah, he's he's a good writer. I mean, he's a good writer. You know, got some miss hits, misses, whatnot. And yeah, overall, this was a hilarious recap, Gasper. Hilarious recap, man. Keep out the great work. I'm going to check out more of your recaps, my guy. Hope you're watching this. I love you, man. Keep out the great with these. So, Hot Squad, that is it. That is all my recaps of all my Hot Bangers. Hot Banger recaps, my correction. So, yes, I reacted every single Hot Banger recap that I did last week. So, I'm finally, finally ready for reactions. For trailer reactions, by the way. So, I know y'all ready because I have a lot, a lot of trailers to cook. To get through. So, Hot Squad, that is my conclusion and my reaction to 
Casper's Transformers Age of Extinction and Recap. So enjoy this, please. Have my cut share thoughts. How many times you seen Age of Extinction? Do you you like it? Do you hate it? You know, but not. I just I don't. We don't care for it. Age of Extinction. But overall, this is a great recap. Definitely a great recap. So Hot Squad next. We've got Hot Banger Trailer Marathon coming, baby. That's right. Gladiator 2 is next, baby. Yes, the official trailer of Gladiator 2 is next. So Hot Squad, please stay tuned for that. Oh,